everybody and uh, welcome back to my channel I am going to show you all how my hair is going out since I started using this product and because of the results I think I'm gonna do like a growth challenge I'm gonna stick to mostly natural based products like the products that yes yeah, some some of them do have chemicals that shouldn't really be in there but they need to be in there because you don't wanna have products that grow mold and bacteria and all of those other stuff you don't want that so you don't really want a product that is water based but doesn't have anything to protect uh, the ingredients and the product on a whole so like with this product don't really need that because it's all natural products most of which um, well some of which are like alkaline based as well so I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna go over the product also, but this is the product that has been helping me yield the results that I've been seeking for quite some time I have tried I have I really I don't really think I have tried an excessive amount of growth aids but I have tried several vitamins and that did not work out good for me I broke out a lot especially in my forehead region on my cheeks and everything so in addition to hormonal acne I got like some kind of sensitivity to the uh, the product so it just doesn't assimilate some of the vitamins don't assimilate well with my body so that's about it but what I'm gonna show you is not necessarily hair loss from pregnancy um, my last pregnancy was eight years ago <laughs> so it's basically I, I, I just think it has to do with stress because the time when I realized it, I was going to school, I was doing online classes, I was also juggling taking care of my son, um, and in essence kind of neglecting myself to some degree. I was still looking after myself, but I wasn't really paying attention to I was here. So I'm like, oh, no, yeah, I really wasn't paying attention to what was going on. So I'm going to show you guys what I mean. Uh, 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 this dates back to also when I really started to pay attention last year, January. And th that was my senior year in graduate school. And I had a lot of anxiety. The insomnia got worse. I still have those things but it's not as bad as when I was um, in graduate school and I don't really like talking about it so I'm just gonna leave that there um, maybe in another video I'll go more in depth when I feel a little bit more comfortable but yeah it, I, it this video is basically to um, let ladies know that are dealing with stress related here last that you're not alone I am not a medical professional, so I can't really pinpoint exactly to it being stress. But around the time when I realized it, I knew for a fact that I had some kind of stress going on. Okay? And from what you see right now, this is the live view of my hairline, no filters or anything same kind of lighting and everything looking in the same iPad and my edges are a lot thicker they're a lot fuller this is what I'm accustomed to see with my hair from since I was growing up this is the hair that I'm, I'm accustomed to see especially because of how my mother used to braid my hair going on into cornrows on the sides I always had retained very full edges so the moment I start to see some kind of loss there, I know something is going on health-wise. 
I think that's why it's important for us to really pay attention to um to our health. So yeah, I'll just begin the video from here, showing you guys how um, my hair looks um, every time I like, go to each section of these stuff. So you're gonna see some broken pieces. So that is just what this, along with not only just this, but this boost a lot transitioning to veganism i still i'm struggling with that somewhat especially because of what's going on right now in the world i mean every time i try to start something something comes in the way but i really shouldn't let anything come in my way and um i've been drinking a lot of water spring water specifically I've been consuming a lot of sea moss, a lot of bananas. Bananas has, um, I think it's vitamin B6. Those vitamin Bs are really good for you. Yep. And I also began taking a supplement that I am going to review. I don't want to talk about it right now because I only took one bottle. But with this, this is the second bottle. And... It's the second month that I've been taking it, um, using it on my scalp as well. So I really can say that it did contribute. But for the supplements, I need to take take it some more. All right, so I'm going to cut to maybe like a voiceover, just showing you guys what's going on with some music in the background. But for the most part, this is how my hair looks. This will get in its fullness, as you can see. All right. And it's stretched. I use curl farmers to stretch my hair. I will also do a video on that as well. I initially thought that my damage came from the curl farmers, but it's really it's really user error, and it's really how you um you install the curl farmers, and it's really how you tend to your hair prior to installing the curl farmers as well. I know we tend to like to blame products or tools or whatever but sometimes it's just how we handle our hair how we treat our hair and how we treat ourselves on the inside so that's about it that's about eight minutes now so i'm gonna show you guys how it looks okay mm -hmm. 